in the cytosol of e coli the soluble chaperon protein SCCB binds to the newly translated polypeptide this SCCB delivers the newly translated polypeptide to SCCA SCCA is a protein associated with the translocation complex SCCYEG in the bacterial cell membrane. SCCA acts as both a receptor and a translocating ATPase. Now the cytosolic ATP binds to SCCA and the SCCB is released. Now the SCCA insert itself into the plasma membrane. This insertion forces about 20 amino acids of the protein to be exported through the translocation complex. Then the SCCA catalyzes the hydrolysis of ATP to produce ADP and PIE. The energy released during ATP hydrolysis causes a conformational change in SCCA. Due to this conformational change, SCCA withdraw itself from the plasma membrane. As a result, the polypeptide is released. Then the SCCA binds another ATP. As a result, SCCA again insert itself into the plasma membrane. This insertion again forces next stretch of 20 amino acids of the polypeptide to be exported through translocation complex. So in this example, the exported protein is about 40 amino acids in length. For more longer proteins, the release of polypeptide by the withdrawal of SCCA with the help of ATP hydrolysis and pushing of 20 amino acids across the membrane through the translocation complex are repeated until the entire protein has passed through and is released to the periplasm. The electrochemical potential across the membrane also provides some of the driving force required for protein translocation. Please like, subscribe and share.